Hi YouTube, Dr. Rose here from Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back. This is a special collab video with four of my colleagues. Lulu, Deborah Day, Amina, and Gilds. So their YouTube channel will be linked down below for you so you can review their videos as well. This video is titled five fragrances you need. When you hear about those five fragrances that I'm going to talk about, you are going to love them. Uh, they have been part of my collection for a while. I enjoy wearing them. I love these fragrances. I will not get too much into the details because I want to keep this video short. So I'm going to uh, go away, give you a second to push that like uh, 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 button to uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and also to share this video with your friends. This is what I need you to do for me today. Uh, when you do this for me, I will be able to create more content and bring them to you. Okay, so we are back. Did you uh, push the uh, like button? Did you subscribe? Did you share the video? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So five perfumes you need to own. Five perfumes that you need. Believe me, five perfumes you need. Men or women, these perfumes are great. You can wear them out, you can wear them to work, you can wear them on a date, you can even wear them to bed. Some of them are all year long and some of them are just for the fall. Since this is the fall, I decided to pick, you know, fragrances that are more towards the fall and I also have one for summer. So let's start with the first one for summer. The first one, the first fragrance is Aqua Florentina by Creed. Here's the bottle. Gorgeous perfume. Look at the bottle. Beautiful bottle. So Aqua Florentina was created in 2009. Uh, it was created by Olivier Creed and Aaron Creed. Top notes are apple and plum. Middle notes are bergamot, Sicilian bergamot, lemon, pear and rose. Base notes are white grapefruit, Virginia cedar and sandalwood. This is a summer fragrance. Extremely, extremely good. It's very light. It keeps you really refreshed when you wear it. I quite love wearing this fragrance in the summer. This is my second bottle uh, of this fragrance. It's one of my top 10 summer fragrances. And believe me, I do have a lot of summer fragrances because I believe in wearing you know, light fragrances in the summer. Uh, men and women can wear this fragrance and it's so nice, you, 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 you cannot go wrong for having this fragrance. Fragrance number two is kind of a fall fragrance. Suma Oriental Inui Abali. This fragrance, when you wear it, it stays close to your skin. It doesn't go away. I call it my sweater fragrance because when I put this one on, I feel like I'm wearing a sweater, like I want to cuddle, or I just want to lay down, watch TV, uh, with a really nice cup of hot cocoa or some really good ginger tea. This is what this fragrance makes me feel like when I, when I, when I put it on. Uh, as you can see, I've worn it and I've only purchased it this year and I've worn it uh, maybe 30% of it already. It's so gorgeous and so great to wear. You, I mean, guys, ladies, you should really try to get uh, this fragrance added to your collection. It's awesome, it's beautiful. Fragrance number three, it's one of my most favorite two rose fragrances. Rouge Malachite, Armani Privé. As you can see, red glasses, red watch, red perfume, I love red. But it's not only because the bottle is red, but this perfume is awesome. It's one of my favorite, favorite two rose perfumes. It was launched in 2016. It's for men and women. 
the notes behind this fragrance is uh, Pascal Gorin. Top notes are tuberose, pink pepper, and clary sage. Middle notes are tuberose again and jasmine sambac. It also has some ila ila and bejuin. It has an orange blossom and cash cashmere. Base note are again tuberose and amber. So you, you notice uh, the common theme here is that it has tuberose all around. This is will be your most favorite tuberose if you have uh, this if you buy this perfume if you have it in your collection already you have made a really really good choice if you don't have this perfume in your collection this is a must have you can wear this all year long uh, winter summer spring fall anytime any time of the year i think you can wear this uh in my opinion it, it can be worn any time of the year it is that good it's very light it's not like uh, out in your face uh, type of type of perfume you can have this in your collection and you will enjoy it because i've quite enjoyed this perfume perfume number four rose darabi from the armani preview collection it has damascus rose patchouli vanilla and arab woods this is my going out go into a festivity fragrance it's very dark it uh very long lasting it's a little little heavy if you are not used to heavy perfume if you don't own any heavy perfume you need one why do you need a heavy perfume because if you're going out at night especially on cold nights you need something heavy because you want it to last you want it to stay on your skin and if you get sweaty if you get sweaty while you're dancing or you are at the uh, at the festivity. You need your perfume to last on your skin to stay there to stay on your clothes and stay on your skin. So therefore, you need this perfume. Was Darabi from the Armani Privé line? Awesome fragrance. As you can see, I've already spoken about two Armani Privé perfumes. It's because I really really like them and I think they are gorgeous. Great perfume to buy for anybody to wear, men or women. So. Perfume number five is coming up. Perfume number five. Let me tell you about this perfume. 85 to 90% of the people that I've come across who have smelled this perfume fall in love with it. It's for men and women. Anyone can wear it. I think it's ageless. It's genderless. I would let my 14 year old niece wore it if she was going out that's how great this perfume is i love it the bottle is gorgeous so are you ready for it you ready it's annie by nishin i had to get the big bottle because this is such a gorgeous perfume so oh my gosh whenever you hear the sound you know that i'm in love i am in love in love in love Top notes are ginger, bergamot, pink pepper, and some green notes. Middle notes are black carrot, cardamom, Turkish rose. Base notes are vanilla, sandalwood, benjamin, cedar, patchouli, ambergris, and moss. This is, I would call this my going out afternoon perfume if you're going out to a late dinner uh, with that special someone or with colleagues or even maybe happy hour on a Friday to have a few drinks you leave work you know you want to maybe put some you know change your perfume for, from the day you put this on with a nice you know pair of jeans or a crisp you know white shirt you go and hang it out with, with your friends or maybe a nice t-shirt this is the perfume that you want to have with you I love the bottle love the perfume it's awesome it's super nice it's very long-lasting and you will get tons of compliments with this perfume on so I'm gonna go over the five perfumes that I just discussed and I will link them below also put the names uh, below for you in the comment box so you'll be able to maybe if you want to purchase them so you can see the names again because I know I speak very fast so uh, 
Suma Oriental in Nuya Bali. Armani Privé was Darabi. Armani Privé was Malakite. Aqua Florentina by Creed. And the last one, Annie by Nichelle. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any of these fragrances, please don't forget to let me know how you like them in the comment box. And if you don't have any of them, if you are planning on buying one, please let me know. If you, and when you do buy one, please come back and tell me what you think of the perfume. This was really fun for me. And I do want to thank my colleagues, Lulu, Amina, uh, Deborah, and Gills, for giving me the opportunity to collab with them on this video. Thank you so much. Be safe and don't forget to share the video. Have a good day. Bye now.